please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children having learned addition of fractional numbers with the same denominator let's look at subtraction of fractional numbers with the same denominator so we are going to do subtraction of fractional numbers subtraction of fractional numbers subtraction of fractional numbers and here i said example we as i said if we have denominator then the subtraction of fractional number is very easy okay for example 4 by 10 minus 1 by 10 okay now in this case all we need to do first take the denominator and put it here and from the bigger numerator minus the small numerator that is you have 4 minus 1 so in subtraction fractional numbers if we have the denominators are same that's what we are working on you simply minus the big number minus the small number from the big number so 4 minus 1 is 3 so what it will be our answer we get 4 take away 1 that is 3 and you put the denominator 10 and this is our answer that clear now let's do some find the difference okay what are we going to do now find the difference find the difference so we are going to find the difference and that's what we did difference between 4 by 10 and 1 by Okay, that's the difference we found. Now let's work out the sum. Okay, five <clears throat> four by seven minus three by seven. That is our sum. Four by seven minus Three by seven fractional number. Now all we need to do is having the denominators are same. Put down the denominator. The numerator we have four minus three. Four minus three, and that's it. What is four take away three? You get one by seven. that is our answer clear now let's go to another sum now 3 <clears throat> by 6 by 12 minus 3 by 12 6 by 12 minus 3 by 12 the denominators are same so we put down the 
that is the denominator, the numerator 6 and 3. So, you put the 6 minus 3. What is 6 take away 3? Our answer is 3. 6 take away 3 is 3 and we put down the denominator 12. So, we have the answer 3 by 12. Now, the next sum we have 9 by 15 minus 7 by 15. Again here, we are working with same denominator. 15 is our denominator. And we have here 9 numerator minus 7. And 9 take away 7 is 2. So we have 2 by 15 and that's our answer. Okay? Now. Okay. Let's work out another sum. We have here 10 by 14 minus 7 by 14. The denominators are same for both the fractional numbers. Therefore, we put down the 14 denominator, the common denominator 14 and then we have to minus 10 the numerator minus 7 numerator. 10 take away 7. What do we get? We get 10 minus 7 is 3 and we put down the denominator 14 and that is gives us the answer. Okay. Now, another sum. We have 9 by 20 minus 7 by 20. A denominator is 20 in both the fractional numbers. Now, the numerator we have 9 take away 7. 9 take away 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. 2 and our denominator is 20. 2 by 20 that gives us our answer. Next, let's do another sum. We have 11 by 25. We have a fractional number. 11 by 25 minus, minus 7 by 25. Okay. The denominator is common. That is 25. Same for both. The sum we have here is 11 minus 7. What is 11 minus 7? After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just 4. So, we have 4 as the numerator. The denominators are same. 25. Our answer is 4 by 25. Okay, let's do another sum. Six by nine minus five by nine. Six by nine by five by nine. Our common denominator is nine, and we have to take away six minus five. Okay, so what is 6? Take away 5, we get 1. 
1 by 9 and that gives us the answer. So, what did we learn today? We learned subtraction of fractional numbers when the denominators are common. Subtraction of fractional numbers when the denominators are common. You simply minus the big number, the two numbers given, take away the small number from the big number like 4 minus 3, like 6 minus 3, 9 minus 7. The common denominator, all we need to remember minus the numerator, take away the small denominator numerator from the big numerator and that gives us the actual answer. We learned today subtraction of fractal number when the denominators are common.